Hey, hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel. This is Reflect to me. If it's your first time visiting, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. I'm also coming on the notification icon. And if you're already a subscriber, welcome back. So, in today's video, I'll be showing you how I transform this picture into this very, very clean public background. Well, no further ado, let's jump into action. So, this picture was taken in USR 50mm prime lens, IS100, aperture f3.5. It has one slash one sixty, so it was shot on road. That's the reason why it brought me straight to camera. Area. So the first thing we need to do is to adjust the settings, the basic settings, the light in the camera. Area. First thing first, the contrast. I will increase the contrast. The highlight. I'll bring it down. The white. I'll bring it down. The highlight. I'll bring it down. Like this. I think I'm good to go. I don't have any other thing to do here again. I don't think I have any other thing to do. So let me scroll down if I can still do something. The color mixer. Let me go to luminar. Increase it up a little bit. And I'll click on open. Wait for it to open up for me in my Photoshop. So once it does, the first thing we need to do is to do what? Is for we to retouch our picture. But as you all know, I don't retouch pictures in my tutorials, or other tutorials I do. I don't remember retouch pictures. So we're skipping that step. But make sure you retouch a piece your picture first before you can try to do anything manipulation. If not, you're going to get a regret that. So after that, once you're done with the retouch, you flatten your image back to your background layer. Then go to your crop tool or click on C on your keyboard to expand your picture. What I want for my picture is something very, very white because the background that we're bringing is very, 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 very white. I think around this way is okay for me. Around this way is okay. Okay, like this. So we won't be going through much process. We just need those two processes here. Number one, we are because we are removing the background totally and bringing another background. So the first thing we need to do is to actually duplicate our background layer by clicking on Ctrl J or Command J if you are using a MacBook. So the next thing you need to do is to click your quick selection tool, click on select subjects, and wait for it to load. It's going to make selection for us. Though it's not going to give us 100 percent accuracy, but it's going to give us an eight start. And like this right now, it did about 90% of my job for me. I just have to zoom in and check where there is error there. I think there's a little bit of error here and on the foot also. Pick my polygonal axis to make sure it's an addition first. Then I'm going to scroll over here like this. Scroll over it like this. So I'll do the same thing here also. Scroll over this place like this. So I think there's a little bit of something on the side also. But all these are not necessary though. I can delete part of the output, but I just want to make the selection as perfect as possible. So that being said, right now, let's see if there's still that place we need to work on. Okay, I think the arm, the hand, sorry. So let's let's work on it also. Let's add it to the selection. So zoom in very well to see whatever you made an error. So I'm going to meet you guys at the end of the selection. So I think I'm done with this right now. The next I need to do just right click on it. I'll go to feather, I'll be feathering by just two pixel. And I'm going to max it up. So unlike before that, we'll be expanding the background, we'll do this, do that. We're going to jump jump on the step entirely. So I'll click my background layer, then I'll go to my file manager and pick the background that I want. Mind you, all these backgrounds are available for sale. My 25 collection, this new 25 collection, you're going to get some crazy backgrounds which I actually have. And I'll be adding more to the files also again. So just go to my store today and make purchase today. And trust me, it's going to help your picture editing skills. And you're going to actually learn a lot. You're going to actually have a nice pictures from there. So let me go to my download. So it's under a folder. Let me search out the folder right now. I think I've jumped that. Okay. So I'll scroll down to the background I want to use. As you can see, these are some of my overlays. For the 25 I think I have about 300 files there. But this is the one I'll be using for today's video. Where is it? Okay, this particular one. All I just need to do is to do what? Just drag it down to my Photoshop. Drag it down to my Photoshop. I'll wait for it to load up. So I'm just going to expand it. Or expand it to like see feet. But whenever I'm dragging it, I'll make sure the footer area is what? The footer area is where the footer area is supposed to be. It's inside this box. So I'm going to drag it up again. I will drag it down so that it's going to fit where I want it to fit. 
I think around this way is okay. Around this way is okay, like this. Let's drag it down a little. So we'll just make sure you place your object where there. Let's drag it down a little bit. I think like this is okay. But now, the moment you brought it in, the picture is looking, the background is looking very, very nice. But you have an issue right now. Number one, the footer shadow is no longer there because we're bringing an entire new background. So I'll be showing you how I do bring my footer shadow back. So I'm going to turn this off right now. With the background we just brought in. I'll go to the background layer. I'm going to pick up my lasso tool. So I'm going to select lasso tool, sorry. And I'm going to select where the backdrop is. Sorry. Lasso tool. I'm picking the background. This is the lasso tool over here. So make sure the feather is on 20 and above. 20 to 25. So circle around where the shadow is. The initial shadow is. I think it's around this way. Once you're done with that, control J on it. Then drag it to the upper layer, to the above the background layer I just brought in. So turn the background layer off. So as you can see, this is our shadow, but it's not looking very, very nice. So change the blend mode from normal, bring it down to what? Bring it down to multiply. Under the multiply, control L on it. So the slider, drag it from this side. Drag it up, drag it up, drag it up like this. Drag it up, drag it up, drag it up. Click on OK. And once you're done with that, control U on it. Then desaturate everything all together. And boom. Our shadow is what? Our shadow is now there and it's looking very, very nice now. So, and that's the beauty of it. When you can retain the shadow in the manipulation. So, we are done with it right now. All you just need to do is to color that picture. And I'll be using just a single lot right now. So, I'll just go and make purchase of that also. But this background will be given to you guys to download for free on my Telegram group. This particular background. But if you want a full pack of it and rest more, go to my store and make purchase today. Give it to appeal a lot. A lot so click on the uppermost layer go to adjustment layer click on color look up then click on load 3d loads i'll be using which one i'll use my perfect skin wait for it to go out and boom i colored my picture but it's too bright for my liking the color is too much just come to the opacity drag it down and i'm good to go and so here is the before of our picture and here is the after we just use simple clear as you can see we use just five layers with the color grading layer very very easy and straightforward there's nothing much about it you just have to know how to bring back your shadow and i'll be doing this on my next video also with different backdrop and different picture so see you guys in my next video tutorial reflect out in case you're interested in getting any of my picture editing file from my overlays down to my color lookup which is my lot file so you just have to scroll down to your video so under the comment this is my description so it's not going to load the description for you. You just have to click on show more. Click on it. So it's going to show all the options. Once it does that, just click on my store link. So here's my store link. Once you click on it, it's going to take you directly to my store. So you can actually select any file you want. From the color lookup, this is a light skin lot. This is a feather which I use in my recent video. This is 100 premium baby overlays. This is my fourth video course. This video course entails on how to download all the files i want the site i use in downloading all my files free of charge including my photoshop panels also this includes my png files this includes all my packs all my picture editing files my premium overlay my png my flying fabric my color lookup my presets so once you buy this you've already bought everything apart from this one so here is my flying fabrics here is my in case you want to give me any project for me to work on Here's my color lookup, here is my background overlay, and here is my preset file. So in case you're interested in buying anyone, you can actually go for them. The good news there is that you can actually buy your own currency, any currency of your choice. You can buy with any currency of your choice. 